G'day folks, today we're gonna have an exciting time learning how to ski the half pipe. We're gonna learn some tricks like the basic air, alley-oop, mu grab, and a bunch of tips and all of that. Half pipe skiing is sick, something I usually only do in spring, but here's some advice on that. A little warning, half pipes are really quite icy, so you definitely wanna wear a helmet, maybe a back protector. Crash pants can also be good, because slamming it in the pipe is really fun. But to ride a half pipe, kind of basic like we're gonna do in this video, is really quite safe. And it's a great way to push yourself to do something that can feel really scary while it's actually not that dangerous at all. As long as you start nice and slow and slowly start jumping higher and higher out of the pipe. Let's explain the names of the parts of the pipe. First of all, at the bottom we have the flat. And then it moves up to the transition where it starts bending. And then like the top meter or so, it's called a vert because it's basically vertical. Not quite, but almost. And then the edge is called the coping on both sides. And then it's called the deck or the table. Uh, that part you don't want to land on when you have a two week pop. So those are the names of the pipe. First thing to have in mind before dropping into the pipe is the ski position. You want to have a normal ski stance so if you basically string yourself up make yourself really tall relax into the ski boot so you got the knees and hip gently flexed this is the position you want to have at all times and if you do you're more or less gonna follow the pipe like this on the flat you're like that as you go up towards the vert you're more or less perpendicular to the pipe at all times on the vert you're probably not gonna be quite perpendicular but try next thing it's super important to have in mind is the line choice you have. As a rule of thumb, the more you go down the pipe, the more speed you're gonna get. So when you get started, you want to do as many hits as possible when you go down the pipe. Make sure that you really go straight up the wall, make a little turn, straight across and up. So you do as many hits as possible. Many beginners, what they do is that they go down the wall too much and you yeah you quickly get out of hand with the speed so anytime you, you got a bit too much speed either give a little skid at the bottom or carve up the wall so you edge up more and that's going to slow you down super important first time you ride through the pipe you need to be able to turn and there's two major things i want you to have in mind the first one is you go up the wall maybe one third up the wall maybe half imagine the wall is here in front of me you go up and the, the speed slows down and then just before it's fully stopped you start turning around and the second thing do it like a normal skidded parallel turn probably your ski instructor in the past taught you like extend your legs as you start to turn do the same thing here gentle extension nice and slow it's going to help you turn around easier so your first run in the pipe should look something like this keep a really high line turn on top maybe halfway up the transition tag along the really high line all the way from start look down same thing again you can always skid a little bit at the bottom if you get too much speed i encourage you to feel how you can push away go something feels pretty good you can go higher and higher Oopla. And then you can start popping a little bit. And it feels really good. So that's what it can look like riding the park the first time. Not the park, but the pipe. Oh, it's fun though. Now I would like to take some air. If this stuff is intimidating for you, maybe you want to join one of our ski or freestyle camps for adults. We all learn your first 180s, 360s, and we usually ride the park some too. Exciting. See you then. After three or four runs of just turning on top, I suggest you start introducing a pop. So it's going to be the exact same thing. Um, like the turn, you extend the legs, but you extend the legs a little bit faster this time so that you take off and are in the air a little bit. As a rule of thumb, try to land at the same place as where you took off. Here's a thing that many beginners get wrong is that they pop 
like halfway up the pipe when you try it and then you land like a meter above uh, where you took off like you smack into the wall higher up this is wrong try to land at the same place it's not completely wrong if you have so much speed that you're going to take off out of the pipe obviously then you pop way before you run out of speed but in the beginning try to land more or less where you took off all right this round we're going to go a little bit bigger and it'll be a lot of fun so a little bit bigger and to do this we gotta keep a line that's much more down the pipe and you want to be really gradual that you slow and steady start taking a line that goes down the pipe a little bit more so you get more speed and then uh, pop later and later uh, what is tricky as well is that the higher you go out of the pipe the more you have to pop because the, the wall of the pipe is not vertical but almost vertical so the higher you go you got to pop a little bit harder in order to land on the top part of the pipe again um, but you also don't want to pop too hard because then you're gonna go out from the pipe and then land at the bottom both of these things are bad and can be painful so you want to really develop a feeling for how much you have to pop at what height above the pipe you're going if you want to get some more air out of the pipe it's not only important how you take the line down the pipe but also you need to pump so as you go down the wall you want to push away strongly with your legs and that's going to increase your speed some as one first goal can be to pop so late that the noses of the skis leave the pipe so they're higher than the coping the coping is the top edge and then next milestone could be to get both feet over and next one is go kind of high and it'll be a blast i promise you after you've done many runs of the pipe with a gentle pop when the noses are starting to leave the leave the pipe you will have to take a more downward line at all times to be able to have enough speed that you really can do some nice airs and then slowly you can start introducing some grabs well i'll show you here i'll start doing some pretty small airs and then i'll have a bit more downward line and i'll start getting more air Pipe riding is very exciting and you'll so feel it first time you try it. Next trick you could learn on your first day of riding the half pipe is the alley-oop. An alley-oop is when you rotate up the pipe, like such. Uh, what you should do here first is, like the first time you're riding the pipe, do it like a turn, like a skidded turn on the top. So I would go up the pipe this way, I'll have a little bit of wind up and rotate it with a skid in the beginning until you start feeling comfortable as usual start maybe halfway up the wall you start doing a few and as you get more comfortable go a little bit higher and a little bit higher maybe until the noses start going out of the pipe if you feel comfortable doing so all right let's do some small alley-oops and gradually make them bigger alley-oop is when you ski up and rotate up the pipe up, up the top. And as you get better at it, you can start popping. Pop. It's getting more fun. I'm getting to take some air out of the pipe. Yeah, now I'll do some bigger alley for you. All right, let's see if we can leave the noses out of the pipe. A little bit. A little bit again, let's get some more speed. Ah, uh, feet are out at least. I like alley oops. Alley oops feel amazing, but they are a little bit tricky because you have to rotate a little bit more. 
So I often teach beginners this quite early on in their freestyle development because yeah, it's a good way of practicing rotations while you're perhaps being a little bit afraid. Go a bit bigger and get some new crabs in. That'll be fun. And it's great to practice grabs in your half pipe because you can do right hand, left hand grabs all the time. You should totally try some new grabs of uh, normal jumps before trying it in a pipe. But here's a little repetition. Pull both legs up, cross them, and pull them a little bit to the side. And then you get the mute grab like such. Boom. It matters which arm you do it on. So when you're on the that side of the wall, you want to grab with the right hand. And on that side of the wall, you want to grab with the left hand. So basically, left wall, left hand, right wall, right hand. It took a little while for me to work out while laying down here. <laughs> I'm gonna show you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my lips And that's how much They wanna kiss you and caress you Now when you start to get some air out of the pipe It could be time to introduce like what edges to land on You can try to land the uphill edges if, But gently on the uphill edges Just maintain a smooth carve across it and see if you can maintain the like a, a meter jump out of the pipe perhaps uh, when you look at professionals they do a bit of both sometimes they land on the upper ledges or if they need more speed they could land on the downer ledges so they go down the pipe more change edge and then go up the, the other wall a bit more uh, so have that in mind it feels pretty good to land on the upper ledges and just have like one clean cut across the pipe it's pretty smooth all right, the next exciting trick we're going to learn is the air to fakie. It's such a sick trick. Oh, wow. It's not quite as sick as that, though. Uh, where you ride straight up the pipe, go maybe halfway up it, do a little pop, and then you land backwards again. Then it's important to do two things. One, you look over the downhill shoulder. And two, when you land, avoid doing this, bending too much by the weight. That happens naturally to everyone almost. Try to stay somewhat upright so that you can maintain control of your switch game. Nice switch game over to the other wall. Little pop, land forwards again. Slowly go higher and higher up the pipe and you'll have a blast. Let's do some air to fake it. Start small, and gradually make it slightly bigger and both ways. Drop it in three, two, one. Try to not skid too much. I'll get some more speed in. Oh man, it's hard. Let's go the other way now. Oh, that's always a little scary, but it's nice. Don't let the G forces like crush you that you land or like get too nose heavy. It's not good. Try to stay nice, upright, and strong, and you get this soon. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.